Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Solfax, and you're watching another episode of Minecraft. So, we're playing on the Mass Nerder public Minecraft server. So, Mass Nerder is a YouTuber like me, he mostly does Battlefield 3 videos, and lately, or in the future, when... Uh, what am I saying? <laughs> when Metal of Honor Warfighter will be released, he will be doing Metal of Honor Warfighter videos. So yeah, he said uh, he uh, made a public server and I'm playing on it for quite some while now. So yeah, that is why there was a lack of Minecraft videos. I really got tired of Minecraft for a while. Then I just started building here and mining and all stuff. And I got quite some stuff, as you can see. Like I got uh, this, I got a lot of diamond and stuff. Uh, so yeah, this is my little shack, and you don't have to tell me that it looks like a dick, because I already know it was kind of intended, I wanted to put a dick on the landscape, yes, no, I'm just kidding, I, I like this, yeah, it's kind of my stuff, I like round shaped things, like my butts of women, my butts of women, like the butts of women. Now, uh, as you might saw, there's a little staircase leading down there, if you glanced at it when I was in the house. Now. This is the main entrance to my super secret underground base. So I just shoot a f uh, shoot a arrow up there, and it opens a magical door that actually powered by redstone and a tripwire that is going above this block. And when I fire arrow at it, for some reason, it opens the door. I have no idea. Don't ask me. It's something I saw on Reddit. Props to whatever guy posted on Reddit, even though there's less than a very very small chance that he's actually gonna see this video. So yeah, now. This is my super secret underground base, and for the sake of theatrism, we're gonna go to the right first, and voila, this is my super fancy schmancy rare cobblestone and cobblestone and stone brick stuff. Throne, yeah, it's my throne room. So, you go in here and you see a fancy throne made out of gold, made out of iron, made out of two stone slabs, yes, and two diamond blocks, which are, of course, the eyes, these are the mouth, and these are the big ears, whatever, this is my, this is my throne, or somebody comes to check out my La Casa, and I interview them from here, I'm like, who, oh, what are you doing in here? Yeah, when we're talking about people that are doing things in my base, I got griefed, like, two days ago, and that was not pleasant, not pleasant at all, excuse me for that. So let's go, let's start the tour. I'm gonna start with my little storage room here that got totally robbed two days ago. But luckily there was a very very kind administrator on this server, Nick. I'm thanking you personally right here and right now. I thanked you in the chat again, but I'm thanking you vocally this time for giving me most of my things back. So yeah. So this is my little storage room, and there's my little uh, how do you call it? Alchemy table, alchemy something, brewing stand. Yeah, brewing stand. <laughs> along with my bottle filler, or the cauldron filled with water. Can you fill cauldrons with lava? Maybe, I don't know. So this is the two basic stuff that I got here. Seed sapling wheat, food and mob drops. There's a lot of stuff here, I really don't want to go over it. This is my dispenser unit. It's very useful, like, I get a lot of stuff, and really a lot of stuff while mining through this cave. Just a note, these were all original uh, natural generated caves that I transverted, transverted? Transfigured, yes, transfigured, that's the right word, into my super, super secret underground base. Ah, <coughs> oh, goddammit, my throat hurts. Yes, I was sick for a while, it was cold, and I didn't watch out for myself. So, yeah, this is my super secret, uh, super secret underground base, SSSB, super secret under SSUB. <laughs> Spelling is not my strongest side, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> And we continue over to this side, in which you will see my super grandiose, ultimate, the best thing in the universe, wheat farm that is totally not automated, but one of the advantages when doing a wheat farm underground is that you can just simply put on some lights that light up the stuff, like these redstone lamps, and then you turn them off, and voila, like magic, the wheat just pops out, and it just keeps giving and giving and giving. I don't know where I heard that quote, but it's just, the, it's the gift that just keeps giving and giving. It sounds like a whore that you bought from Israel and she's really hot and she's like, Oh, if you give me some food, I'll fuck you every day. That was totally inappropriate, yeah. If you like the lighting effect, yeah, I know, you sh Oh, I forgot, turn on the lights, yeah, it happens sometimes. Um, the lighting effect is really cool, the way I achieved it is I just punch out the blocks behind it, two blocks behind it, or one, I'm not sure, and put torches down. So you can't see the torches from any angle because 
<coughs> my throat is very dry. I'm sorry, I, I, I gotta take a swig of something. I'll be right back. My throat is really dry. Don't go anywhere. So, I'm back. I'm back. I'm gonna just plant this here quickly. If I don't speed this up, I don't know why I didn't, but I will probably speed this up. So, while I'm trying to plant this normally, I'm just gonna be singing for a little while. Had to take down my headphones because I can't hear what I'm saying. So, let's go. Let's start with singing. Um, I don't know. Let's sing uh, something that I know. Ah, okay. This is one of those moments when you have when you're kind of stage frightened and you're like, I need to sing something. I need to sing something quickly, and you just can't remember the lyrics of any single song, any single song that you ever heard in your entire life. And you probably know about three full albums of songs from various people and various artists and bands, and you just can't remember them at that given moment. Yeah, that is totally hilarious. We're moving on. We're moving on. Um. Mm. So. You see my throne, you see my storage room, now it's time to see my fancy chandelier. <laughs> it's not so fancy, I don't know what. Why is that? There, the black block. I don't know. Back there is my little animal farm, which is not automated, nothing, it's just four cages with chickens there, something else there, pigs there, and cows there. I don't know where I'm gonna put there because there's no more mobs, there's like sheep. I might put sheep there, that is actually a good idea. Like, okay, let's, okay, so first, this is... A staircase, if you did not notice, and this is Jack o Lantern. He's actually called Jack o Lantern. This is a real person, and uh, if don't discriminate because he's yellow, don't discriminate. And okay, so let's go here first. So this is George. George is a pink sheep, and side of his little aquarium here, aquarium, terrarium, I wanted to say. So he, he's got a little waterfall, which was the death of his colleague here, Fred, who accidentally drowned in the waterfall, or I presume he did. I don't know where he went, but he was just dead one day, so he can't get anywhere out. He's just like, yeah, he probably died here. <laughs> That's Fred. Moving on. Right there, down there, is my zombie spawner, which is not worthy of viewing, really not worthy of viewing. You saw that that staircase had a hole in them, that's like a shortcut to this this part of the whole complex. Super secret, super secret underground base, God damn it! So, this is my main chambers that has not been worked on even the slightest, except the walls that I replaced all the dirt and all the cobblestone that I previously placed up with smooth stone. Put up some glass, glass there, I don't know why I did that. My, f my original idea was to actually drill all the way to the surface from here, but as you can see, we're really, really, really deep here. This is the 23rd level. That down there is 30, 30th level, I think. So to get to the surface would be, I think, 20 more blocks. Something around that. And that just... No. That is too much to dig in that general direction. And I have no idea how I'd pull that off, actually. So, to distract myself further, I want to show you some things special. My nether portal. So... Why would I distract myself again? So, there's a story I need to tell you. Uh, this server, when he first started this server, that was, I think, two, two and a half, three months ago. Uh, that's That was a week before I started playing. So, I've been playing on this server quite a lot. Quite a lot and quite a long time now. So, the nether was not open. The nether was not open. You could get into it, but you couldn't break any blocks. So, when we finally got access to the nether, most of us spawned at a, I think, 20 block radius, which was... What the fuck? That was so weird. 20 block radius is like too weird and oh! Oh! You see that? That's a slime! Oh my god! Where did you spawn? If you didn't know guys, slimes are very 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 rare so when a chunk is generated uh, the server or the uh, command thingy, the game picks a random number from 1 to 10. If the number is from 0 to 9, excuse me, if the number is 0, that chunk will be able to generate, that chunk will be able to generate slime, only at level 10 and below. So, this is extremely rare, like, extremely rare. I think that they're coming from somewhere up over there, but look, okay, this is my little farm, it's so sucky, I wanna know where those slimes came from. I killed one slime here before, I thought it was a bug or a glitch, because this is way too high for slimes. At this level 35, this is way too high for slimes. Now, what was I saying? Yeah, I was saying that up there is my little skeleton spawner, which is cool, 
and that's not worthy of viewing again. I just wanted to show you this little area. I'm planning on re 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 decorating this something somehow someday. I really don't know. What was I talking about? Nether. Yeah, the Nether. When we all first spawned, there was like 20 of us, and this server has a thing that I think it's a thing. Uh, you can claim your spot. It's a it's uh, it's a bucket server. So you claim your thingy, your uh, land, and after you claim it, you can just like you can use it for stuff. Yeah, you can build stuff on it, nobody can break blocks on it, put blocks down, open your chests and stuff. So I think that it also, if somebody who does not have access walks over your claims, claim thingy, that is one of my parts is claimed directly above this. So yeah, this is a little area that is claimed. So the griefers that came down a few days ago, they walked over this and there was a sign that they were here. So that's how we got them. No. That was not that was not a true story. What the fuck am I saying? I saw those those signs there and I broke them before looking at them. I dreamt that we caught them and I, I got my stuff back. But that was the night before he gave me my stuff back. The lovely admin. So you notice this, yeah, and there's a hole at the ceiling that when rain falls, I can look at here and rain is falling on me. That's one of the privileges of being king. You can have rain fall from you when you're uh, a lot of feet underground. <laughs> so, you might tell that there's an empty space behind these thrones here. Yes! You go in this little... Oh, got splinched. Splinched! Go in this area here, and voila! It's a shrine to what? To a creeper that is currently not built because I don't have enough wool? Yes! It's gonna be a creeper shrine. I dig all of this out manually, and I'm not joking you, all of this manually. There was not a single cave system here. Actually, there's a cave system up there, I'm lying. And that cave system is, is the one where the skeleton spawner is, so I had to limit the bigness of this room. Bigness, I'm gonna get so much hate on that word. The bigness of this room, so he can fit in and still look cool. Is it cool? Yeah, it's cool, I know. So th that was my base, that was my base. Um, there's three more people on the server at the moment, so if you wanna play with me, or possibly Mass Nerder on the weekends when he streams, so yeah, you should join this server. The IP will be in the description below, you'll be able to find it because it will be marked by IP of the Mass Nerder server. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, and if you did learn something from it, like, don't believe that griefers will not take all of your stuff if you just claim it and not lock your chests. Um, if you like this and if you learned something, please leave a rating and leave like a comment saying how much you liked it, if you really liked that much, but no need. Okay, so guys, until next time, keep it steady and carry on.